Good morning, my name is Austin Williams here with Lake Area Outdoors. On today's episode, we are headed up to Lake Superior and we're going out of Duluth, Minnesota. This has been an absolute dream trip of mine for years now and it's going to happen this year due to ice conditions. We had that polar vortex that lasted a couple weeks and really put some ice on Lake Superior. Uh, which can be rare uh, to be able to get out and fish these fish. Uh, we're going to be chasing salmon, herring, and lake trout today, and I've never caught any of those species. So it's going to be a really cool day. Stick around. I think you guys are going to like today's episode. Look at that thing. That thing is beautiful. Yeah, that's crazy. We've been out here for what, 15, 20 minutes fishing and hardly, yeah. <laughs> I got one on the ice and I thought my GoPro was running and of course it wasn't for my first ever coho, but it's still really cool. Gosh, look at the spots on their back. That is just so cool. That is beautiful. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. And we have a live scope down there so you can just see them come in and it's just like a blob of fish just coming in. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely crazy. I get my pliers down. That's a little bigger than mine. I think so. Yep, we're on. Hooked up. Oh, here comes one flying to me. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. There's so many down there, you know. Oh, the heck is over here. Are you kidding me? Up. There's a whole bunch of them. There's a ton of them. They're all chasing you. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Oh, I just got hit. Come on. Oh god, I'm getting chased. Hooked up. Ooh, get him. Oh my god. This feels decent. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh my god. It's such a strong fish. That's crazy. They just horse you around. Oh, Are they still here. there? Well, there's a couple. Oh my there. god, they're at the hole. Yep. Are they like right below the ice? Yep, like right there. Are they still here? Yep. Oh. Yep, yep. Are you serious? Yep, I just watched that one. <laughs> this one is a... Uh... Oh my god, oh my god, somebody's chasing me. Are you kidding me? I didn't me? even have bait on Oh. oh. Throw that guy outside. I'm trying. Oh. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Me? Oh, they're still there. Dude, forget bait. Just get down. Oh there. god! <laughs> <laughs> this is so wild. Oh god! The ripple eyes. Mm -hmm. You can literally see them. 
see them coming. Here comes another. Oh. I can't get it off. They're still there. I saw them down there, and you could see them just like chasing yep. it. That last one, I literally sight fished them. Right they gone? For the most part. That was wild. That was probably the craziest two so minutes wild. of fishing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my so pants are just scales. <laughs> that was so sick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Something, anything. That pan optic is just lit up. There we go. That's awesome. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Oh my gosh. Get back down there. Are they still here? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, they're still they're circled up. back in again. Dad and brother haven't thrown any out of the house yet, so they ain't getting any. Oh god. This is by far the craziest bite I think I've ever been on. This I told you. This is This nuts. is wild. You guys will be at your limit in no time. Yeah. I know we're gonna have to this stop here. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Look that. I got that on camera too. Nice. You can see that way down. It's another call. It's a nice call. It's a really it nice call. Good. That could be a king. Really? Oh, 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 they look so big. Don't stay down there when they're coming up. Oh. Oh. That's not a mess. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hooked up. Look at the head shake. Look at that. Thing is just bobbing. <laughs> that is wild. All right, get down there. I'm just gonna throw. I don't know. How many do we have on the ice? Six. Well, we're still alive. Uh, definitely one of the craziest things that's ever happened to me on the ice. Basically, just sitting here and. All of a sudden, it just felt like an earthquake. And we're, what, maybe 100 yards, 200 yards from shore? If that, yeah. Chris gets out of his house, just sprints to shore to see if we broke off, and luckily we didn't. But I think I'm still, like, shaking a little bit, because that was... <laughs> no. <laughs> that yeah. was, uh... That yeah. is one experience you can nev you cannot explain whatsoever. I mean, you got to be there to experience it. It's just, uh... You can literally hear it coming from a distance, right? And then uh, we didn't see any cracks that Chris and crew did, yeah. um, but um, essentially one of those things, you'd see that crack go straight through the ice and your whole body, I mean, it shifts it, and it sinks. We moved. We like, moved quite a bit and it just sinks. It is such a scary thing. I felt that one other time on Red Lake actually in, in Minnesota and that was, um, it's, it's a crazy experience. Yeah, I don't need to ever feel that again, but that's kind of the risk you take coming out on these big bodies of water like this when it's not completely locked up. Right. What did they say? It was like, I think 70% locked up, which is pretty good for for Lake Superior, but still, yeah. that's, uh, I'm good with never experiencing that again. No, and we were just joking, well, we were saying how fun this was, and uh, next weekend we go to Devil's Lake, and how that's going to be wimpy compared to this, but... <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> it sounds good. We're like, hmm. Crappie fishing doesn't sound so bad right now. <laughs> this is, uh, I mean, this has been crazy, though. Like, right. by far one of the craziest bites I've been on. Yeah. And yeah. you guys will see in the footage. I mean, you can see them coming on the pan optics, and they're just, like, cruising in Ooh. so fast. And by the time you blink, they're gone. It's right. Like, it's literally a school of 100, 200 fish or so at a time. And you're coming in and out and whatnot. There, we had one school come in so fast. We couldn't get down there fast enough. I don't know what the heck we were doing. When that crack went through, too, like, everybody jumps out of their house, and you look, and there's people everywhere just, like, looking around, like, what the heck do we do? It's, like, <laughs> it's just unlike anything I've ever experienced. But. Yeah. Yeah, thankfully, Chris, um, and big shout-out to Chris for, oh, yeah. you know, uh, getting us up here and whatnot and having that experience to know. To run, run to shore. shore <laughs> see if we're moving, if we are. You, you throw, I mean, everything. you grab the essentials, and you get to, get to shore, but um, he ran to shore and yelled we're good so <laughs> we'll take it but yeah we're good to a point that was uh, to a point that yeah. was sketchy but yeah we'll try to get that on footage next time if uh, it happens hopefully that was the only time today i will say one more of those we're going to make fish <laughs> <laughs> i really think so but stay tuned hopefully we get on some more fish for you guys i just Oh my gosh. Come on.
they're strong, aren't they? They just mm -hmm. can't control them. Yep, there we go, right at the hole. That is so Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, we should be able to see these. Oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I think those are herring. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> there you go. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, there's a trout one. I mean, salmon. Oh, I keep calling them trout. All right, guys, we just got back home. Uh, decided to pack it up and get the heck out of there pretty quick. Uh, we didn't want to film too much of it. Chris and I went up to the shoreline just to check on ice conditions and it looked like it was starting to push up just a little bit. After that big crack too, it kinda, we were on edge a little bit. It wasn't horrible and nice, didn't really move too much, but we decided to pack it up early and, and head in just to be safe. Uh, I just wanted to run through what I was using out there. So this is just a little spoon and I had it tipped with a wax worm. And then it's on a medium action rod for walleye. This is a 32 inch, it's nice to have that little extra play when they're when they're doing the head shakes and whatnot and i actually took my bass bass reel off of from the open water and put it on here and that has braid on there and it went to a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader so that's kind of what we were running out there nothing overly big with the spoons especially since the coho were a little smaller um compared to the lake trout but we de definitely wanted to have that backbone in case we did hook into one of those fish uh, but i can kind of show you this is my limit here that we that i kept here but it was overall a really fun day and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone.